Gaming Bowl presents 15 amazing couch co-op games you absolutely need to play. Video games can be fun, but what's even more fun is sharing your experience with your friends at arm's length of each other. There's just something so appealing about sitting in the same room to converse with each other while playing some cooperative video games. With that out of the way, let's talk about 15 amazing couch co-op games you absolutely need to play. Rocket League Rocket League was a game released back in 2015 that is still played and enjoyed to this day. In fact, according to NewZoo.com in December of 2017, it was ranked in the top 10 most popular games on Twitch when it came down to esports players. The game features split-screen co-op, so you and those buds of yours can play with or against each other with AIs on a chosen difficulty or online with other people while still playing together on that couch. Hidden Agenda Crime thrillers are normally single player, since a lot of gameplay mechanics would be difficult to implement into a multiplayer game. Hidden Agenda, however, utilizes the Play Link feature. This allows others to come into your game using their smartphones and grants them the ability to vote on what will happen next. While Hidden Agenda is not the most exciting game for players who are merely observing, it is still unique and was created by the people that brought us until dawn. Spelunky Spelunky has the player control an unnamed adventurer. The game, however, is capable of local multiplayer with up to four players. There are two different multiplayer modes. One is adventure, while the other is deathmatch. If you choose adventure, the players are to work together to get through each randomly generated map while avoiding enemies along the way. Deathmatch is different. This one is a local multiplayer exclusive mode. The players are against each other with a set number of bombs, lives, and ropes, all the while having to observe their surroundings to try and get their hands on a weapon to beat the other players, while avoiding traps and hazards scattered throughout the arenas. Overcooked Do you like cooking? Do you like video games about cooking? What about multiplayer games? Well, if you fall into all three of these categories, you're going to love Overcooked. The players take control over a number of chefs who have to complete various orders, all the while the environment and the clock is against them. Unless you want to get nowhere in this game, which let's face it, everyone wants to progress when playing video games, you have to work together, which can be a problem, as there are so many ways the players can screw each other over. Rayman Legends Rayman was one of those gaming mascots that you knew, even if you had never played any of their games. Sure, he's not as popular as Mario or Sonic, but he is very well known. In 2013, Ubisoft released Rayman Legends, a game that wasn't just your regular Rayman game, as it took inspiration from their 2011 release Rayman Origins. The game lets up to four players select from a cast of characters. Other than that, it was a regular platformer with Rayman and his friends as the protagonist, but that's enough to make it stand out after all, since it has that Rayman charm that people seem to love. Borderlands The Handsome Collection are you tired of generic first-person shooters? Do you want something that is visually different? Look no further than the Borderlands series. It's absolutely wonderful. Its design is very artistic. It didn't care about making the game look realistic like so many other FPS games attempt to do. Instead, they used a cel-shaded style to make it stand out from the rest and focused on making the game fun to play, whether you're playing alone or with friends. The game features split-screen co-op for up to four players on one console, excluding PC, of course. The gameplay is fun with all of the creatively designed weaponry and unique enemies scattered throughout the play area. You and your friend will likely have some fun fighting bad guys and the horrific monsters that you will encounter on your journey. Halo The Master Chief Collection I'm sure we all remember the Halo series, especially if you were or are an Xbox fanboy. Halo was one of those games that pioneered what multiplayer gameplay should be. With Halo The Master Chief Collection, you can play Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary and Halo 2, 3, and 4 on the Xbox One. All four of the games support couch co-op, allowing you and your friend to play the campaign without being online. You can play through the story mode of each game with your buddy and bring back the memories of playing on a small TV screen arguing who's going to drive. Minecraft There's only so much time a player can dig straight down during the day and fend off monsters at night before they get bored of playing alone. So why not invite your friends over for a little Minecraft? Local multiplayer is a feature of this large, blocky game. Feel free to explore the world with your friends while avoiding death by monsters and heights, or go all out and build that dream mansion you've wanted to do for the longest time. Super Mario 3D World We all know of Mario, the red overall-wearing Italian plumber whose only task is to save the princess. 
Super Mario 3D World was made specifically for the Wii U and was critically acclaimed. Now, sure, it wasn't the first Mario game to incorporate multiplayer, but it was one of the more polished attempts that didn't involve dice or carts. The game allows up to three other players who can control either Mario, Princess Peach, Luigi, Toad, or if you play your cards right, you can unlock Rosalina. Much like any other multiplayer Mario game, it is fun for the whole family. Divinity Original Sin 2 Maybe you want to play a game that isn't so happy-go-lucky, or maybe one that is more role-playing than the others on this list. Well, Divinity Original Sin 2 is the game for you. Not only can you play it solo, but you can, of course, play it with three other players in your party. This game provides the player with cooperative and competitive multiplayer modes depending on what the player's preferences are. So if you're feeling a bit more aggressive, go on and be competitive. If you're feeling helpful, play cooperatively. I'm sure your friends will find an interest in the role-playing and dungeon-crawling elements of this game. Gears of War 3 Shooters can make for amazing multiplayer games. Gears of War 3 was one of the greats. It has one of the best couch co-op campaigns out there. The game puts you in the shoes of Marcus Phoenix and Dom Santiago. Meanwhile, you are tasked to fight the Locust Horde. This is one of those games that really make you talk to your friend about where to go during the battle. Sometimes it's best to split up and attack the enemy from the front and back. Or maybe it's better to stick together. Or maybe you're collecting ammo and you need some cover fire. Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition People love fantasy games. The idea of finding yourself in a world with trolls, dragons, ghosts, and living skeletons is just fascinating. So imagine sharing that with your friends. It would make it even better, right? In Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition, you can play co-op with your buddies on the same console. The best part about the game's co-op is how much there is to do. Not only can you go through the main story, but there is more that the players can do, like leveling up their characters or enchanting weapons. Portal 2 Puzzle games. Some people like them, some people hate them, and some people don't care and just want to eat some delicious cake. The Portal series had become quite popular quickly after its release, but one feature the first game lacked was any form of multiplayer, but Valve didn't disappoint its fanbase when creating the sequel game, Portal 2. Its cooperative campaign has the players control two robots thrown into the world after the events of the single-player campaign. Now, with typical Portal fashion, you are equipped with Portal guns with your respected blue or orange color. This means either of the players can really mess with their partner. The entire game cannot be won without both sides doing their part. This makes it one of the games you can really see people rage at when playing with another person who just wants to troll. Resident Evil 5 Resident Evil 5 was the first game in the franchise to introduce split-screen co-op, allowing one player to control Chris Redfield and the other to control the new character known as Shiva. There was a trading system that the player could use, which is important as the game is action-packed, so being able to help out your fellow friend with giving them some of your ammo may benefit you in the end when you're in need of something that they might have found, and maybe don't need. The game has the players fight off zombified locals all the while progressing through a linear story. A Way Out Video games that utilize multiplayer usually have it as an optional choice that the player can use if they have a friend wanting to play with them, but our pick for number one is different. A Way Out is a game that tells the tale of two convicted criminals, Leo and Vincent, who are trying to escape prison and live their lives. This game is unlike any of the games on this list, as it is made exclusively for multiplayer. This game requires the players to communicate with one another, so it's probably best experienced with your friend in the same room, so you can explain what you're planning easily. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.